Hey Omis, welcome to Om Yoga. I am Mary Omira. Today's class is a 20 minute power vinyasa flow focusing specifically on twisting and detoxing. We're gonna be utilizing the essential oil purification. If you don't have it, don't worry about it. However, if you want your own, be sure to click in the comments below to join my oily family. If you love this class, comment below. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel and join my family. Share the love, spread the love. And if you wanna see what's happening on the Om front outside, you can catch me on Instagram at Mary Ohm for love and go to my website, join my newsletter at www.essentiallyohm.com. Let's begin. All right, Omis, we're going to begin with the application of purification. You're going to take it. If you have it, place a couple drops over your liver. Purification is great at helping to release the emotion of anger. Okay. It also helps to just purify thoughts, emotions, and the body. All right. We're going to begin standing. This is a 20 minute class. You ain't got time to do much. So you're going to come stand at the top of your mat. Keep your feet hip distance for this. Let's begin with our intention. Okay. So let's inhale, arms sweep up to the sky. And as we exhale, palms touch, hands to heart center, gaze down. Take a moment and think about what it is that we need to clear from our mind, body, and soul. Wherever you are, take a nice audible exhale, sigh it out. Inhale in through the nose, filling up the belly. Exhale, let it go. Inhale this time, cup your hands over your nose if you have your oils. Breathe in your intention to purify. And as you exhale, let it go. Slowly begin to open the eyes. Release the hands down by your sides. We're gonna inhale, arms sweep up to the sky now. Eyes are open. And as you exhale, let's do a little half moon, quarter moon to the left. We're gonna do some twisting today. Wanna to open the side body. Okay, inhale back through center. Left arm up and over. Inhale, center, arms reach up, and as we exhale, we forward fold. We're gonna do half sun salutations. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, keep drawing the belly in. And as we inhale, rise with a flat back, arms up. And as we exhale, half moon to the left. Keep pressing firm through your right foot. Keep your shoulders square. Inhale, center, windmill over, left arm over as you exhale. Inhale back to center, arms up, and as we exhale, we fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bend into the knees as you fold. And then again, inhale, rise, nice flat back, arms up. And as we exhale, half moon to the left. Inhale, center, and as we exhale, we switch. Inhale, reach back up, arms up. Exhale, we fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And as we exhale, we fold. Getting into our sun B. Go ahead and toe heel your feet together. Big toes touch. And as you inhale, arms sweep up to the sky into your chair pose. Bring the weight into your heels. Maybe lift the toes. Big breath in. And as you exhale, bring your hands to your heart center. Inhale, we hinge forward. And as we exhale, we twist, coming into our prayer. Okay, so your hands are together, pressing nice and firm. But rather than letting your hands press back towards your left shoulder, press your palms together, bringing them towards your heart center. Okay, sit deep. Find your breath. Take an inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, you're gonna lift your right foot off the ground, squeeze your knees together, and as you exhale, step back into your revolved crescent lunge. Take a bend or even drop into your back knee if you need to. This is about the twist, not about the balance, okay? Energy through the crown of the head, through the heel. Take an inhale, exhale. One more, inhale. As you exhale, right hand down, and then as you inhale, open into your side plank. 
let your left arm come to the sky. If you need to modify, your left foot is down in front of your right knee. Otherwise, lift the hips. Maybe you lift the gaze. Take one more inhale. And as we exhale, find your first chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, look to the top of your mat. And as you exhale, step your way there. Big toes touch. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, we fold. Inhale, we sit into our chair, arms up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, we hinge. And as we exhale, we twist to the right. Okay. Left elbow outside of the right knee. As you inhale, lengthen through the crown of the head. And as you exhale, you sit deeper. Find your breath and then again, are you pressing your hands towards your right shoulder? Can you press your palms together, bringing them towards your chest? Sit deeper. Inhale, gaze down. Then as you exhale, lift your left leg. And as we inhale, we step back into our revolved crescent lunge. Find the breath. Lengthen through. If you took a knee on the other side, do so here. Squeeze the inner thighs towards one another. And again, rather than letting the hands press towards the right shoulder, press them towards your heart, lifting and opening. Now as you inhale, bring your left hand down, step back, Vashistasana, side plank. Modify if you need to, lift your hips, find your breath. Inhale, exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. And exhale, down dog. Inhale, look to the top. Exhale, step, hop, or simply walk into the top. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sit into your chair. Arms sweep up, palms touch. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, we hinge. Exhale, we twist. Right elbow outside of the left knee. We're moving rather, well, I should say at a little bit of a faster pace. You're gonna inhale, lift your right foot. And as you exhale, step back, revolved crescent lunge. One breath, inhale to lengthen, exhale to twist. Now as you inhale, right hand down, step back, Vashistasana, side plank. Lift the hips, big breath in. And as we exhale, we vinyasa. We'll meet in down dog. Inhale, look to the top. Exhale, step or hop. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair. Exhale, hands, heart center. Pull the navel in. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, we twist over to the right. Sit the hips deep, press the palms together. Inhale. Exhale, look down, lift your left foot. And as you inhale, step back into your revolved crescent. Again, palms are pressing which way? Press them towards your chest. Lifting and lengthening. Then bring your left hand down, step open, side plank. Inhale, and exhale, we release. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step or hop to the top. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sit. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist to the left. Sitting deep, looking down. Inhale, lift the right leg. And as you exhale, step back, revolved crescent. Okay. Inhale, exhale, right hand down. Step back, side plank. Lift the hips, take a breath. And exhale, vinyasa. Inhale up. Exhale back, 
Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step or hop to the top. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sit, arms up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist over to the right. Sitting deep, look down to the ground. Inhale, lift the left leg. And as you exhale, step it back. Revolved crescent. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, left hand down, step back. Vashistasana. Inhale, right arm to the sky, lift the hips, pull the navel in. And as you exhale, chaturanga. So as we work through our practice, inhale, up dog. And exhale, down dog. Especially with twisting and dealing with emotions, sometimes we can get cranky. <laughs> And that's the emotions coming to the surface to be released, which is a great reason to use our purification. Okay, so we can use purification even when we aren't on our mat to help release anger, emotions. Okay, inhale, look forward. And as you exhale, you're gonna step forward to have a seat. You're gonna lay down on your back. only for a second, it's not a break. <laughs> Go ahead and lay down. Okay, hug your knees into your chest, give yourself a squeeze. Maybe rock a little side to side. Then we're gonna come back to center and stillness and come into our reverse tabletop. So you're gonna take your knees over your hips. Now take your hands to your thighs and press your thighs forward. Now simultaneously press your thighs back. Oh, do you feel that? <laughs> now think about your tailbone connecting to the ground, low back connecting to the ground. Now take your hands behind your head. As you inhale, extend your left leg forward. And as you exhale, you're gonna twist your right or excuse me, your left elbow to your right knee. Don't try to draw your knee towards your elbow, draw your elbow towards your knee. Inhale, center. Exhale, we switch. Keep flexing both feet. Inhale, center. Exhale, switch. Inhale, center. Exhale, switch. Can you lift your elbows, or rather your shoulders off the ground? Switch. Center, switch. Take this on your own. We're gonna go for 30 seconds. Maybe you extend the legs. Maybe you drop your feet down to the ground and twist from there. You can go as fast or slow as you want. Okay. We go for 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Pause on whatever side you're on. Pulse. Five, four, three, two, and one. Switch it over and we go five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. Draw your knees into your chest. Give yourself a squeeze. Now as you inhale, take a full body stretch. Arms overhead, toes point forward. Now with your inhale, extend through your right arm, right toes. Switch it out, inhale, left body, left side body. And then as you exhale, draw your knees into your chest. Give yourself a squeeze. And then you're gonna cross with your ankles. We're gonna rock and roll three times, up and down. After your third rock, we're gonna come into our up dog. Feel free to take a chaturanga if you wish. And then in our up dog, stay here for a moment. Drop to your knees. So in your lazy dog, lift your heart forward as you inhale. Then as you exhale, look over your right shoulder. We inhale back to center. And as we exhale, we're switching. Inhale, center, and as we exhale, we press up and back, downward facing dog. Take a moment, walk the feet in a little bit, shortening your down dog. We're gonna come into a pretty simple twist. You're gonna take your right hand to the outer edge of your left calf, your right thumb's point, right thumb rather, since you only have one, points up towards the sky. 
Lengthen the heart. Then as you exhale, you're going to twist, maybe looking under your left armpit. Keep pulling the navel in. And then we switch. Release the right hand down. Now take the left hand over. Left thumb points up. Lengthen the heart forward. Then look under the shoulder, under the armpit. Come back to center, release the hands. Then you're gonna inhale, lift the right leg towards the sky. And as we exhale, take our quick half pigeon. Okay, so we're working on releasing emotions today as well as like working with the body of releasing things. Inhale, lift the heart. And then as we exhale, let's pause here. Walk your hands back towards your thighs, your hips, okay? And I want us to think here, what was our intention? Where do we need to purify? And maybe it begins directly with our emotions, our thoughts, right? Our thought process. The more we show up to our mat, the easier it becomes to reprogram the body. Lift the heart with your inhale. And as you exhale, come down to your forearms. Draw the right hip back, left hip forward. The more we integrate oils into our practice, we will find that we can open and unlock the emotional aspect um, a little bit quicker, a little bit easier, right? Because it's something that we can continue with off the mat. And then from here, go ahead and lower your forehead to the ground or to something. So whether it be your fists stacked or your hands stacked. Squeeze the inner thighs together, draw the right hip back. Now as we inhale, you're gonna walk your hands back, lift your heart, lift your chest. And as we exhale, come into a three-legged dog, taking the right leg up and over, taking a quick circle, and then releasing it down to the ground, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg to the sky. And as we exhale, finding our half pigeon, left knee outside of the left wrist. Okay, then you're gonna walk your hands back once again. If you can't come back that far, that's okay. Spider finger, maybe forward. Okay. Otherwise, bring them back by your hips. Lift the heart, letting the emotions clear, right? Clearing the pathways for them, creating new ones. Take an inhale. Then as we exhale, come down to the forearms. So this class you can take, it's 20 minutes, anytime, right? We can fit 20 minutes into our day for self-love and care. And then lower your forehead down to the ground or to your fists or your hands, whatever you did for the other side. Squeeze the inner thighs together, left hip comes back, right hip forward. And then as we inhale, walk your hands back, lift your heart, lift your chest. And as we exhale, coming into our three-legged dog and taking our circle. Lower the left leg down, downward facing dog. And as you inhale, look forward, step forward, have a seat, come onto your back. Hugging your knees into your chest, we'll take a very, very simple supine. Hands out to a T, drop your toes down to the ground, lift your hips up, walk them to the right. As you exhale, knees to the left. Look right. Inhale. 
Inhale, let your knees come back to center, squeeze them in. And then as you exhale, switch feet to the ground, lift the hips, walk them over to the left. And as you exhale, knees to the right, gaze left. Maybe close your eyes. And then as you inhale, draw your knees back into your chest. Give yourself a squeeze. From here, we're going to rock ourselves up. If you feel as though you need to take a little Shavasana, by all means, at the end of this video, you can lay back down. Otherwise, you're going to come into a seated position at the top of your mat. Bring your hands to your heart center. Let's close our eyes down for a moment, gazing down at the fingertips, eyes closed. It's from the bottom of my heart to yours that I thank you for allowing me to be your guide. Hands to our lips, may our words always be kind and true to others, but most importantly, always kind and true to ourselves. Hands to the center of our eyebrows, the center of our intuition and divine light. The highest in me honors and recognizes the highest in you and together in this place and in this space, we are one. I humbly bow forward in honor of you. Namaste.